bookish vlog. So I am just getting ready for work and I figured I'd come on and introduce the vlog this week. So I've decided that I'm going to be pretty much like shifting the way that the vlogs go. Since I am going to be uploading every single day of October, I figured we're gonna keep the vlogs going because I am still doing stuff every day that I wanna share with you guys, but we're gonna keep them bookish. And that's what like the last vlog was where I'm sharing with you guys what I'm reading for the week and you know what progress I've made on the books that I'm reading. So with that being said, the books that I am reading this week, um, I actually just finished an audiobook. Um, that time I yeeted a love potion at a werewolf, <laughs> which I will have a review for you guys on my September empties video. It was basically a three star and I'll go into why on that video. So that'll probably be up next, my September em empties and like book review. I do want to say too, because a lot of you guys have been asking me to share my Goodreads account, which I am new to Goodreads. So I really didn't know how to do this, but last night I went and looked it up and I made my own unique link for Goodreads. So now you guys can um, go to goodreads.com slash hi, it's Vicky, and you can friend me on there or just follow me if you want to. And that would be super fun. So we can kind of share our reviews and I can see what you guys are reading too. So that's just like super interesting. I've been loving sharing Goodreads with my friends. So I think it would be really fun to share it with you guys because you are also my friends. So I figured out how to do that. <laughs> I will leave it uh, in the description box as well. I'll keep putting it in my new vlogs. Any of them, any of the videos where I talk about books, I will start putting that in there. But it's goodreads.com slash hi, it's Vicky. And the next audiobook that I'm going to be starting is My Roommate is a Vampire. I just got off of the hold list for my library. So I'm excited to start that and read a vampire romance. It's been a minute since I read anything vampire related. I did read Bride by Allie Hazelwood like earlier in the year in like the springtime, but that would be a perfect fall read if you have not yet read Bride by Allie Hazelwood. It is a werewolf and vampire romance and it was really cute. It didn't really feel like super paranormal to me though. It just felt like another kind of romance and then there were like those aspects in it. And then I have just started Empire of Storms. So I said I was taking a break from Throne of Glass, but I don't know. I just really wanted to start it back up again. I think it was good that I took a break because now I'm like really interested in starting it up. I'm like fiending for what happens next in the story. So I went and I listened to Between Pages and Friends, the podcast. And they've been doing a deep dive on the whole Throne of Glass series. And each podcast episode is like a certain amount of chapters within one of the books. So I went and I listened to their podcast reviewing the last book and like what happened at the end of it. So that way I could kind of go into Empire of Storms remembering everything that happened because it was a lot. So yeah, I did just start Empire of Storms up again. It's like a 600 page book, so I'm a little scared, but I have it right here. So starting this back up again. And then I mentioned this in my last bookish vlog where I was talking about my TBR for fall, the Spellbroken King. And I don't know, I'm like 100 pages in or something. And I don't know how to feel. It's like Faded Mates, but with a demon. So like, I don't know. I thought I would like this kind of like paranormal romance that's like super spicy, but I don't think I'm liking it. It just feels like Wattpad. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't feel like very professional. So I don't know if I'm going to not finish it, just mark it DNF, or if I'm going to try and finish it, we shall see. But yeah, right now I'm really just focused on Empire of Storms and then starting My Roommate is a Vampire. So that's it for now. I am going to go and log in for work for the day, but I will keep you guys updated on how it goes for the reading and I will talk to you guys later. here we are it is almost nine o'clock and i have two books to choose from tonight and i'm about to put on some ambient music on the tv these animal crossing lo-fi cafe vibes it's so cute 
but then we also have like some cozy autumn vibes. I think I'm actually gonna search for like a throne of glass one because I think I am gonna end up reading Empire of Storms tonight. Only like 50 or so pages, I think. Yeah, I'm on page 40, so not very far. And then I also just started the spell Broken King by J.A. Keaton. This one is a lot different than I thought. Um, I just started it. It's a pretty small book. It's like very tall, so the words that are printed are like very large words, which I'm fine with. It's um interesting um i'll give you guys a review of this but not what i expected i'm not mad about it though so <laughs> anyways i think i am though going to read empire of storms and put on a little ambient music Okay, I'm gonna quote this. I hope this isn't a spoiler. You owe me a life debt, King of Adarlan. Prepare yourself for the day I come to claim it. <gasps> Rowan's here. Rowan's here. <gasps> Why is this foreshadowing? A witch could summon the core of magic in her with devastating consequences. Even the most bloodthirsty and soulless of them only whispers whispered of that act the yielding okay so now you're telling me that she's gonna do it that's what you're telling me or somebody's gonna do it okay i'm on page 162 and i was sobbing violently and then something really great happened. So, this is awesome. I love you, Manon. You have my love. <laughs> and now I have to finish the next chapter to figure out what happens, okay? <laughs> and probably go get some tissues. Hello guys, I'm getting ready to do some pumpkin spicy makeup and I figured I'd talk to you about updates on the books that i'm reading so i am just getting ready to film my fall project use it up update and i'm gonna do some really fun fall eyeshadow um honestly i don't think i'm gonna do anything crazy but it's gonna be fun so i'm gonna start with my hot buttered rum palette i'm going with this matte white just to set the lid i just put on my milani eyeshadow primer and you guys requested a lot more like makeup tutorials so Here's just a little eyeshadow one for you, but I did used to do makeup tutorials like way back in the day when I first started my YouTube channel in like 2016 when I was in college. So it's kind of funny to hear you guys say that you want to see that because that's really like what started it all. So I think that's just so cute. So next, I think I'm going to just go in with, I'm going to use my Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette. This is one of my favorite ones from Too Faced. I love their holiday palettes. Um, especially the fall and winter ones always have just a beautiful array. So I think I'm gonna go in with this like pinky and then in a pinch and then plenty of dough and just mix them all together and go in the crease. But yeah, so updates on Empire of Storms. I am 50% officially into the book, which is about 350 pages. This book is so long, I was... That's kind of the reason why I was putting off going back into Throne of Glass because the books are just so long, but it's totally worth it. There's so many different plots going on right now. Um, there's, I think, three different storylines going on at once, so it's a lot to follow, but something really big just happened um, involving some pirates. I'll leave it at that. Yeah, really cool stuff is going on. You guys saw my reaction to some things. Throne of Glass makes me feel like all of the feels. It makes me feel 
so many different emotions at once. Currently, right now, my favorite character is Manon. I am such a Manon stan. Um, I really didn't care for her when she was first introduced. I didn't care for her at all. I was like, let's get back to our main character because I don't really care. Um, but now I love her so much. I love where her story's going. Um, she's so powerful and just like badass. And I'm so excited to see where she goes. We haven't seen her for like 100 pages and I'm really sad. But um, I know that we'll get something good with her in a little bit. So I'm just holding out hope. Okay, should I go all matte or go with some shimmer? I think I'm definitely gonna go with some shimmer. I definitely need some orange in my life. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go in with extra spicy. This is like literally the definition of pumpkin spice right here. And I'm just gonna go on the outside, like just a tiny little bit of it. I don't want a lot, like literally just that much. And then I'm gonna blend it out. So that's Empire of Storms, and then I'm also reading My Roommate is a Vampire, and that one is so cute! It's really such a cute book. I'm about 30% through that one right now. Okay, I'm gonna go in with like a clean brush and just try to blend this orange out a little bit. But I love the vampire. He basically is like an old man. He acts like he's an old man. It's so cute and he doesn't understand like modern day technology or anything. So our main character, she's like trying to, I don't want to say like catch him up to speed because she didn't even know that he was a vampire. Now she does, but he just really wanted a companion to catch him up to speed with the day to day, especially like technology in the modern age because um, he is not very adept to technology. So I think it's super cute so far. They're like slightly attracted to each other. I really like how the author is like building up their um, attraction and their like physical chemistry even before she knew that he was a vampire. I'm gonna go in with this like yellowy color. She was building up this romantic tension and I really enjoyed that. And both characters are like trying to deny that they have romantic tension. But in this book, we are mainly following the main character. I don't remember her name. And our vampire, we are only getting bits and pieces of his viewpoint of things through his letters to his friends and family. So I think that's pretty cool where she's giving, the author is giving us like a little taste of him, but not like doing a whole chapter based in his psyche. Okay, next I'm gonna go with Cookie Cutter. But yeah, I'm really enjoying that one so far. I really want to have that finished sometime soon because I would love to move on to another audiobook, but I am traveling soon. So I have a feeling I'm going to be reading a lot and I'm concerned about bringing Empire of Storms with me on the plane because it is huge, but I really want to keep reading it. So I really need to get a Kindle, you guys. Um, I've kind of been telling myself that I could get a Kindle if I read through most of my current physical books, then I can get a Kindle. So I think I'm going to have to leave Empire of Storms at home just because I don't want to pack a ton and just finish off my audiobook on the plane. And then I also think I'm going to bring the best hex ever with me. So I picked up the best, best hex ever, that is so hard to say, from my little library for free because I think somebody must be, like they must work for a publisher or something in the neighborhood because she put an early edition copy, like an arc of, I've never seen an arc, so I don't actually know what they are or what they look like or what they're supposed to look like, but I think she put an arc in the, the free little library because it said like, you know, potential release date. This is a copy with possible mistakes, like things like that. So that was cool. I got a early edition of the best hex ever. And so I'm going to definitely bring that with me on my flight because it is a smaller book and I feel like that'll be easy to pack with me. Um, I'm gonna go in with this matte, like white shade and put this under my eyebrow. So that's probably going to be my next book that I'm gonna read and I'm just going to pause on Empire of Storms. And if I really do feel like I want to read more, I can always go and download it on Audible because I have two free credits right now that, well, not two free credits, I pay for Audible, but I have two credits that I could use to buy Empire of Storms if I wanted to. Lastly, I'm going to go in with Lick the Spoon, which is just like a much shimmery version of the one that's on my lid and put this on my inner corner. I'm going to do some brown liner. This is just a ColourPop liner on my waterline. I don't think I want to do eyeliner. 
so I think I'm just gonna go in with mascara. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. Yeah, I love how that looks. Okay, now I'm going to do my lips. I have this brand new, I just got this, the NYX Line Loud Lip Pencil in Rebel Kind, and it is like a deep chocolate brown. So I'm going to go in with kind of a light hand and I might rub some off just to line my lips. And then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Spice For Me Lipstick. I love this one. I've had it for years and years. It is just like the perfect pumpkin spice color. A lot deeper of a lipstick than I was going for, but I still think it's really pretty. I'm going to blot just a little bit. And then I think I'm going to braid my hair for the Project Use It Up video. But I am going to go ahead and close off this book vlog video right here. And then we will pick back up next week on what I'm reading and then my thoughts on things that I've finished. So that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog slash bookish vlog. Like I thought that this is really fun to keep up with kind of my new hobby on reading. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let me know what you're currently reading and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!